everybody. Welcome to uh, an episode of, I guess, another episode. But instead of Design Recharge, I'm calling it Creatives Ignite. So we're doing a name change. And Chris is helping me out today. It is a rapid recharge. And Chris is such a great um, podcast, make it better person. Um, that, And he's just such a great friend. So I, I asked him, spur of the moment, about an hour ago, <laughs> if he would read the chat for me while I try to present this and keep the conversation going so that maybe I don't ramble because he knows that I do ramble and he tells me, but in a loving way, because I want to be told to stop rambling. Anyway, Adrian's here. We got a bunch of people here. Adrian's in Ireland. So always good to see you, buddy. So some of the things that we're going to talk about today is I, um, Maybe we're all like this. I know. Uh, I know a lot of you. So I. I always think about is what um, I'm dealing with in my business or in my creative process. Is that something that maybe somebody else is? And sometimes it's a little rough. You know, you're like, Ooh, if I go out and say this, I might. It's just all the worry that comes. You know, with all that stuff. So I want to tell you about something. I, I've been. Um, we unpacked a whole bunch of things and I used to use these really big sketchbooks. This is kind of like Chris's normal sketchbook, but these are really big. And I would put all kinds of things in here and I was trying to be an illustrator. Oh yeah. See? Um, and I, so I would say I would have never called myself an aspiring illustrator. I mean, that stuff's not so great. But, um, and some of the stuff's just stuff I cut out from a magazine, you know, things that I enjoyed looking at. Um, And then some, I think, you know, I'm just trying to, I looked at a picture of a bird and let's see it good. Sorry about that. So there was this one I thought was really nice, that bird eye. And then that's like some sort of cardinal or something. Anyway, so I practice things and then sometimes I just copy other people just because I'm trying to get the, the colors or the um, the penman work, but penmanship or, or the style or something. But I always try to give them credit in my sketch, even if it's just in my sketchbook. So I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, did you see what I did back in 2010? Um, I know. So that, so Amy said that last week that she was um, an illustrator and she used to think of herself, I'm sorry, I have an itch, that she used to think of herself as a aspiring illustrator. And today I'm joined by Chris Martin. Chris helps make everything better with the podcast and she's just a really good friend. And so I asked him spur the moment to come back on, but you guys should listen to his podcast too. It's called getting work to work. I've had Chris on before, but I, and I will more than likely have Chris on again, but he always, it's like amazing conversations about things, all kinds of different things. So getting work to work and you're on like episode 400, no, 595, 595 people, 590. But anyway, um, but so the, I, Amy said that last week about aspiring illustrator that she used to be, and now she calls herself an illustrator. And I think sometimes it's just practice. And many of you um, maybe have come to camp and you understand that I have this thing with practice and the more we practice, the easier it becomes. Right, Chris? After 590 episodes? It's all practice. It's all practice. It's all it practice. is. But, but in the beginning, when I started being a podcaster, I didn't even think about being a podcast. I, I, I just said I had a web show, <laughs> you know, like it wasn't even, I, I didn't even put it out on podcasting, but I didn't really know how to do that. Some of that stuff. And, and it wasn't always clean. It wasn't, I didn't have a good mic. I didn't have the mic facing correctly. That was the other thing. Um, anyway, but I love, I love what Maura just said. She said, my name is Maura McDonald and I'm a brilliant artist. I love that. Yes, you are. And sometimes we have to have other people reflect that to us. And then sometimes we, we need to claim it. I think we, we absolutely do, but sometimes we have to claim it with little, with, with just one-on-one with people on our own. And then somebody has to validate. I know maybe we're not supposed to have validation, but that's just reality for me, at least. I don't know. Do you ever have that, Chris? I like to think that I don't need validation, but then 
when I don't have validation, I'm like, am I doing anything right? <laughs> right. Exactly. That's that. So there's lots of things I've never shown. And I just thought it would be fun as I'm going through. I used to cross things out. Like I literally thought it was a terrible drawing and the how I would talk to myself was really not nice. And so I would never show anything. And some of these things are not that amazing, but they have. Uh, and if you were here last week, you saw how Amy's things changed. She always she drew mice a lot. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to start drawing backgrounds. And maybe she didn't share them, but she would share them with the special people like her nieces and nephews or and her brothers and sisters, right? So I'm going to show you some things, some things I physically have in front of me and then some things I did. But Chris, you're going to be my guinea pig or you're going to read the chat. And then if nobody can figure out what this is you're you're gonna try okay so first we're gonna do a game i guess i'm sort of a game it's just four it's i see things <laughs> um and maybe this is how i was uh brought up that i would just see all kinds of things okay so let's see i'm just gonna share everything hopefully i don't okay so chris yes. the, okay this is anybody but i figure this is the hardest one Okay, so I figured I'd start with the hardest because then it'll make me feel better that y'all all got the rest. So this was a Coke stain, uh, Coca-Cola <laughs> on the ground in when I was in Richmond during grad school. And I looked at this every day. And then finally, I took a picture of it because I always saw the same thing. <laughs> Any guesses? Nobody. Oh, yes, Amy. Oh, my gosh. Read what she wrote. Amy says it's a woman dancing. She's wearing a shrug. Okay. It, it, so she's dancing. Do you see? And she has, maybe she has dreads and she has her head back and her, it's just like torso. And then you see her butt. Do you see it? It's like that Apple commercial with the silhouettes. Yes. Yes. That's sort of, this was like around 2000, maybe. Um, Mora thought it was a dog on his hind legs standing up okay so okay next one this one i think every hope oh, lord I thought it Jesus was one god. of those those uh inflatable oh, yeah. at the car <laughs> right. dealership right yeah that's sort of what it looks like but i thought it was beautiful you know okay so here's the next one any guesses the rock of gibraltar <laughs> this is a it looked like a foot to me like the bottom of a foot yeah amy mm -hmm. saw it man amy's on fire is that amy lynn um, yes. Okay. Awesome. So t this is on, oh, a whale, Paul. Nice. This is on Mount Evans. And I, this was like huge compared to how big I was, you know, we were walking around and it's just huge. Okay. Now this one, I have put a box around, so it makes it a little bit easier. And this is just, uh, from around Richmond. Did any, does anybody see anything? And Chris, you read when you, you, see something and of course nobody uh amy lyon says a face okay any other guesses a scream says paul nylander mm. if you look sideways so so i had the screaming face okay do you see okay i'm gonna can you see my mouse chris mm -hmm. yeah so the eyes this is a trunk so this is an elephant do you see an elephant? An angry elephant. No, he's not angry. Well, he's an Alabama elephant. No, I'm just kidding. He wanted to be Auburn, right, Amy Lyons? Um, <laughs> okay. All right. Last one. This one's kind of a giveaway uh, because I really... Um, mm, now Taylor sees the elephant. Okay. So this is a spigot or spigot or whatever. In the South, we call them spigot. But what do you see? What do you see, Chris? Just inside the box. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh. I'm failing the personality test, Diane. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Well, read some of the chat and see what people are saying. Praying mantises. Uh-huh. Uh, a four. Mm -hmm. And then a grasshopper. Okay. I'll tell you what I saw. Those are awesome. This is a man, and these are his shoulders, and he's looking down at a map. And this is his backpack. Oh, you see it? <laughs> Morris says yes. So to me, 
I need things like this to help me draw. And yesterday when I was teaching, um, a kid took two hours, maybe two, almost two hours and 15 minutes to draw three things that weren't very detailed. They were like line drawings. And it was just, I, I could just hear the doubt in his head as he drew for two hours. Like, I can't draw. I don't draw people. And so I asked him, I was like, what's going on? I'm a little concerned that it's taking you this long to draw this few of things, make this many marks. Maybe I didn't say it quite like that, but I probably did say it. But I was trying to be empathetic. Um, he, he said he didn't draw people. And I said, but what is a person? Like, why does it have to look like a human? You know, why can't a person be a blob with legs or, you know, this is like, oh, this is just a rectangle and another rectangle and a square and then another rectangle. And I see it. And if, if I could just just do that, maybe it would communicate either as a praying mantis or a, a, a grasshopper or a whale for the foot or whatever. Right. And so it is something I love is that we all can see different things. It doesn't mean if you didn't ever get to see the dancing woman that you were wrong. It's just, um, do you remember those things, Chris, that were the, I don't know, the 3d things that if you, if you looked at it a certain way, you could see 3d. Mm -hmm. I see. Did you ever? No, I couldn't see that. I couldn't either. I think it was a, it was a hack. I don't think anybody could see it. And then people were just like, oh yeah, I see it. Cause I was like, I can usually do that kind of dimensional thing. Cause my sister had really weird wallpaper in her room when, I mean, that we bought it with the weird wallpaper. I don't know why my parents kept it in there because it's expensive to change out wallpaper or they don't want to paint or something. I don't know. Maybe it kept but you I busy. Would, yeah, it was, we could do like, you could do it in, with your eyes so that it was like, there was a brown background and then you could, it was like a pattern, like a interlocking pattern. I, ha- I could never see him, Paul, could never see the 3D things. So to me, this is, this is some of my really old things that I saw when I, when I was in Denver. So 20, hmm, I was in Denver from like 23 to 30 ish. And so uh, anyway, these are good memories, but they're also some are Richmond. Okay. So, but I realized that sometimes I would just be walking around and I didn't think that I was an illustrator at this point. Absolutely. For sure. Did not think I was an illustrator. And there have been lots of times that I didn't think I was an illustrator and still some days I don't think I'm an illustrator, but I really like it. And I'm always been attracted to illustrations and, and that I, I don't want to have to draw something like a photograph. I, I actually find it more enjoyable to, cause it's just so painful to, to never get it right when I'm trying to draw something exact. And sometimes, and I know Paul knows this, um, and if you look at any work for me, sometimes it's just really important to draw rocks. And so I've long time, I'll stop the share and then I'll come back. I have long time drawn, drawn rocks. And these rocks, I really like black rocks. I don't know exactly why, but, uh, but they do have a tiny little, I don't think it's going to focus there (gasps) has a tiny little uh, shadow underneath it. So I, I think now I'm blurry. I think you can't go wrong with rocks and robots. You can't be like, that's not what a rock looks like. (laughs) It could, it could look like, and a robot is imagination. So there's not any, nobody's ever going to say that doesn't look like a robot, you know? So I really, when I was first starting and sometimes when I'm feeling nervous, I need, this is very um, calming for me to do something like this. Cause how can you really mess this up? Right. And the blobs, I, I really like the blob exercises. And again, it does us comparison in a wonderful way, because you might see something and then Amy Lyon sees something else and Amy Lynn sees something else and Chris sees something different. And so it's, it's fun. So here's another one that I did. Oh, I think I'll show you this in a second. Anyway, forget that. But it's tape. 
I just put tape down. Debbie Clapper wouldn't wear tape. I mean, wear tape. <laughs> she would not <laughs> use tape. She doesn't use tape to do her art. But uh, and she's going to be on the show later in the year. But OK, so anyway, um, Diane, I Amy wanted to know where was this with my last project? <laughs> Referring to the rocks. Oh, oh, right. Um, I like I I like rocks, just so you know. Um, and I like those rocks. So I do think sometimes I explore different mediums and then it's not good. Are you ready for an ugly one, Chris? Um, I doubt it's ugly, but go for it. It is, but it's okay. So this is alcohol ink. Oh, and that's so awesome. One of the great things about alcohol ink is that you now I could just cut these down, you know, and and use the little parts mm. and it's hard to see. But I kind of found some some blobby people in there. And you blow it right. It's just different, different things, but fun colors. But this is this looks like a mess. It's perfect. It's perfectly messy, but that's OK. <laughs> but sometimes there's things that happen. And no, often, if that's oh, an acorn. it was an acorn. Um, it was. And so years ago, um, in 2019, when I actually met Chris in person, uh, we were at Ben Design Conference and uh, I was, but it was earlier than that. So in the spring of that year, my friend Lydia, who I had worked with in Denver, she was a writer at the magazine that I worked at and she had seen something that I was posting on my C Diane Gibbs uh, Instagram, which there's not a lot of people there. So it's not like, if you're like, Oh, I don't want to show people this. Well, maybe you don't have that many followers. Maybe nobody really will see it. So, Hey, just put it out there. Right. At least you get some validation. What's so funny. Just don't have any followers and share to no followers. It's perfect. Right. Who okay. cares then? Right. At least you're getting the practice of sharing, right? Putting it out there. Sharing. <laughs> sharing. Is sharing yeah, that's right. So I um I don't really know exactly what I was uh, what I shared that um that made her want to see whatever. I was doing, um, you know, I, I don't remember what, what that was, but I was like, okay, well, we'll just, we'll see what, what it is. So I, I again have gone back a lot and been looking at a lot of old stuff. So I'm going to share my screen again and I tried to pull it up. Hopefully it'll be in order. We'll see. I didn't really know what my friend saw, right. What Lydia saw, this was something I did and I should have probably showed it because it looks better in real life. I love numbers. And this typeface is called numbers. This typeface is called numbers. And the big one is like, um, I don't remember, like train depot. It's called depot. And I actually just bought it because it used to be on Adobe, but now it's not. So anyway, I love patterns. And that's actually how I did our wedding invitation. So we got married on five, five at five o'clock. So it would have been awesome if I could have gotten him to marry me on two th in 2005, but he held out till 2007. So <laughs> anyway, but so I love making patterns and I, I, this is just tracing paper. Why don't we go back and use tracing paper? You draw something once and then you turn it and you draw on top of it, right? So I did this thing with heart since we're on love on designers, you know, I mean, it's not perfect and you can definitely see the mistakes, but sometimes it's just fun to copy up over, right. Or do something different. And there was another one that you'll see. I had done something. It was war and memory. I love, yes, Joe, exactly. Tracing paper is. So I was trying to do something because a W and an M, you know, uh, it was a logo that I worked on for a client and this is not the one they chose, but sometimes it's just really fun to draw things that you see all the time, but you're drawing them in a different way. So in, at first I was like, why did I write, um, but then this is, this is not, um, anyway, but I, then I was like, oh, I like that architectural detail. 
right? This is how I was taught. Did, were you taught like this at all to simplify shapes like this, Chris, in design? Mm, I don't really remember design classes too much. So um, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I didn't well, have an amazing teacher like you. Well, I don't know if I use enough tracing paper in my classes. So it makes me, it's, it's really good to go back through old uh, sketchbooks. So uh, Morris says she was though. So, but why can't uh, sometimes we just turn things upside down and have a new, a new way to look at it. And, you know, Chris wasn't for sure going to be on here. Uh, so, but yesterday we talked and he celebrated 16 years of his business yesterday. And he was like, mm, I'm not sure it's 16 years. Right. And I was like, yes, this is amazing. This is really good. So, I, I have often had to flip things that didn't turn out super well, or maybe somebody else saw it as uh, they would have been like, oh, you're a failure, Diane, you didn't make the cheerleading squad, you know, and then maybe it's like, no, look, now you have more time to do other things that are fun and no one will run over you. I got run over as an eighth grader, like the literally the football team stepped on my back, trampled me. I mean, thank goodness we're all little in eighth grade, you know? Um, but I like get up. I had a white sweater on. It was green. Anyway, it, anyway, whole another story there, but sometimes you just have to smell the grass. If your face is face planting in the grass. Right. Um, and there have been times when I applied to be a professor at Auburn and I didn't get it. And I didn't even get an interview. I didn't get a rejection letter or nothing. Like sometimes people, we just need to give rejection letters, you know, like it just helps for closure. But all I could think in my head was what did I do as a, as a student that they didn't even give me a, a rejection letter. They didn't even get, I, they're so embarrassed of me that I didn't even get, I didn't even get an interview. And I think that I could have been in that and then just tried to kind of stay there. And this was 2012. So again, uh, uh, that sketchbook, this one was from 2010. I definitely would have said aspiring illustrator. I wouldn't even said illustrator. I would, I said, I liked illustration. I pr tried, I played, but I never showed anybody. And if you don't show anybody, you never get the opportunities, Right. He's say, shaking his head. Yes. I um, hear the rocks in my head. I know it's what my mom says. I can't hear those rocks in your head, Diane. But sometimes we just need to. I have found when I make messes, I find things that I like. So me doing a podcast or whatever a web show, it was really just about learning. And that was what it was. It spurred me. I didn't want Auburn to ever be embarrassed of me. I wanted Auburn to be proud of me and I feel good about all that I was able to learn. And I think it, I mean, if you've been in business for 16 years, like Chris, right. I know Amy Lynn's been in business for a long time. I've been in business officially since 2002. So I guess that's 20 years now. It's a long time. 27 D. Oh yeah. It's a long time, but man, it is not like you just keep, you like think you keep getting better. It's at some point you're like, Oh my God, I don't know anything. Everybody's passing me. Right. There is, it, you're always somebody you're always behind or under somebody else. It doesn't matter how after 27 years, after 20 years, whatever. And I think that's just the way God uses us, works us. We're growing and we're learning. We, we get bored. Chris, have you ever gotten bored in 16 years of running your business? Um, I never get bored. Isn't that what people want to hear? <laughs> I, I do get bored. Yes. So then what do you do when you're bored with a project or it's just a lot of repetition? What do you do to spark things for yourself? Or what have you done in the past? I think it's one of those things of like, how fast can I get this project done so that I can then move on to other things? So speed then becomes a factor. The mm -hmm. challenge but is 
if it's like waiting on other people, then then it's just like I can't do anything about the boredom. It's not in my control. So but I guess last but last year, maybe you weren't bored, but you you learned something new. You mm-hmm. like signed up. You tell them about that. Uh, I took a coaching certification program, so that that helped to stem the boredom and be around people that were also learning those things that weren't in the creative industry. And it's it, you get ideas about other things, and so many other people can't come into your life mm-hmm. that now you're like, oh my, you're richer. It's like if you only go to one section of the library. Chris reads like eighty books a week. I don't <laughs> know how he does it. It is a lot of work. I mean, he does read a lot. You do read a lot. I, I'm kind of on the the lower end of my reading journey right now. So I've only read six books this year so far. But normally um, you will read like six books a week, it seems like. Yes, but I don't f- necessarily finish them because. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Because some are boring. Yes. I give up. <laughs> Amy called you a slacker. But True. when when you're you're not just I know some of the things you read, you read all over the library. It's not just I'm going to the business section or I'm going to the um, psychology section or I'm going to uh, I mean, you've read things, all about fiction, nonfiction, everything. And I think that that's another thing that you've done to keep the boredom away. But it's also that's exploring and it feeds into your other creativity and the way you solve problems. So we need to figure out now, granted, at some point you, you get over read maybe, and you need to take breaks. Yes. But there are times to, this is when maybe you're making more messes um, in what you're doing. So I'm going to share again. So I didn't fill in the other ones, but again, I'm just getting ideas. Like, why can't we play with patterns this way? Then these didn't really go. Oh, well, my little scanner, it's my little doxy scanner. It's yellow on the inside. It's really small. I don't know if you guys know about doxy scanners. Okay. So, well, let me see. So again, I also, I talked to Kim Pinelli yesterday who started um, Love on Designers with me. So I had made this, this is, I like interactive cards. Do you like cards? I do. And I like the ones that play music when you open them. Oh, you do? Mm. Okay. Okay. So um, this is interactive, but it's just one that I made. So I just cut out handmade sandwiches. um, And then I had these oranges, which I guess they were grapefruits. And again, I'm just coloring. I don't I don't know watercolor well when I was doing this. Not that I know it really well either here. This is just a collage material. And then this is probably the back of a Diet Dr. Pepper box and And then this is the inside of an envelope. And then this is just washi tape. Well, you open it. You open this card. I have it somewhere. I pulled it out so that I could show you, but now I can't find it. So I I just was cutting things out. I tend to see that that helps me a lot. And then this is the inside of that card. And it's like a journal, you know, so I had made this little heart out of, uh, uh, you know, like a little rubber and I was carving it or something. And it was like, there are always surprises when you keep lifting. And I was like, man, that was smart. You know, to me, every time you lift a book, after, every time you get up there, if you just keep being in explorative without having, the whole point is, I want you to make messes. I want you to explore. I want you to make friends with no agenda. Make messes with no agenda. I didn't ever send this card to anybody. Maybe now this will, maybe this will be the winner this week gets this card. Um, so then these are just tiny little things. I thought that sort of looked like a bird. I mean, these are really small, Chris, really, really small. I don't know where they are. They're small little pieces like you see how small these are? These are just little, small. They were bigger. I didn't like them, so I cut them down. What? What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. Let's cut them down, right? And then maybe this is other collage fodder. Okay, Amy so then. The pardon? Amy sees oh. a rhino. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I see a happy dog. 
show me with your mouse. Can you go to um, oh, like this is the nose right here. We can't see your mouse until you do an annotate. Okay. More and then annotate and then uh -huh. you can draw. Right here. See it now? It'll come in a second. Okay. Maybe. Can you so see like, it drawing see, on your screen? I see the nose right here. And this oh, is yes. like, this is like his tongue or her tongue. Uh-huh. And then kind of the, the open mouth right here. And oh, like, yeah. like the ear and then like the eye. Yeah, I see it. It's like a happy dog just licking the screen. Yeah, I see it with like eyeshadow on. Like, yes. yeah, I dogs, mean, dogs love eyeshadow. I've heard that as well. I think sometimes I just smear things. I think sometimes I use just this is just a really thick marker that's opaque you know using different tools i think is helpful sometimes i let the stuff come through this also could be a tongue that could lick your dog maybe or or uh, it looks like like an insect flying rapidly oh yeah <gasps> yeah but sometimes I don't like all the colors. Like, I don't really like this color, but I'm sure there's a place for taupe somewhere. Yeah. But but I just didn't like it. So this was one of my favorite ones. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. I don't remember what this was. It was probably from a box or something. But this is French paper. And it had like, I think it was French paper. Um, uh, and then this is something I did in printmaking. So again, it's a robot. You can't say it's it's a robot dog. So I made it and I was like, well, I was definitely not saying I was an illustrator at this point, but I was just playing and then I cut them out. And so now I realize that the cutting thing is really important to me. And this one did say go. This was these new kind of um, uh, watercolors that are like a powder. So you can spray them and then spray water. You can have water down on the paper and then spray. It's really cool. Um, so it wasn't yellow there. It's just, it says go. I don't know why the O fell off, but again, sometimes just plain uh, makes it so that you find new things that you like. When was the last time, you know, you experimented. So with Love on Designers, I have done lots of things and I, I wanted to show you, this is like one of the first things that Kim and I, uh, we were talking and I was writing it down and I guess she was going to do the, the things for encourage that, that those two weeks and or she was going to do two and four and I was going to do energize. So I was making the graphics for those. And I love doing things with other people. That's why again, today I'm like, Hey, Chris, after you get done with your garage door fixing, could you come help me? But it's like, Oh, measure your life in love. I was like, that's a good idea. You know, like instead of, uh, Hey, Jason, um, uh, measure, you know, like the one inch or, two inches or whatever that wouldn't that be cool that you felt more love and i'm sure there are times on the ruler that it would be like a dip like we do in our business it's not all just going ahead surging forward right it doesn't always feel like that but you have a little ruler you could measure things and uh in love and i love that we were talking kim and i were talking about sharing each win and then sharing the joy, because I think it's, sometimes it's hard to share the wins with people because sometimes you feel embarrassed. So I'm going to share a win. Chris, I mean, it's not my win, <laughs> um, but Chris's wife, Christina, has got started a YouTube channel where she reviews these specific kind of toys. She has way surpassed anything I've ever done in 10 years. And I just think it's awesome. And she, he's taught her how to edit. He's taught her, and then she's learned. He's let her fail, right? It's not like, oh, get over. Let me, let me scoot over. Let me fix it for you. Tell him what the um, channel is. And you are super proud. Like you look at the numbers and you'll tell me like she hit 104, 104,000 viewers or something, right? Uh, I think she has 143 or 1.43K subscribers. And her most popular video is, is over 360 K views. So it's, it's, it's wild to see her do those things. But and, I love, but yeah. have you ever had somebody in your, in your life that really couldn't share a win with you? 
Mm, yeah. Yeah. I think if you would have asked her, I mean, this is her story to tell, obviously, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll brag about her till I'm blue in the face, but you know, I think for the longest time, there was two paths for her life. And this is a path now that, that she's walking that wasn't in the cards for her. And now she gets to say that she's a YouTuber. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. She'll get to the um, vanity URL before I do, but I just think it's cool. And it's so much better if we don't be like, Oh man, I suck. But I mean, I know that there have been times that things just weren't going right. And if I just am comparing what they're doing to what I'm doing, they're way ahead of me. It doesn't matter. She's she that I've been doing it longer. I could make it like it was terrible about me, but I do, it's not. It's it's just amazing that she's figured some things out and she is having so much fun. And I love that. And I guess I think she was willing to explore and play and get messy and not have it all figured out and still post. And I think that that's really powerful. And in um, her latest video, she she does like a scene with the dolls because they were like toys. And I'm like, OK, you had fun with that, didn't you? So it's just like, you know, oh, sometimes oh, I just shared the wrong thing. Boogers. I was don't. I. Oh, well. Keep going. I just shared my Google Drive with the, <laughs> the creative Ignite. I don't think anybody will be able to get it, but it has my logo. So please don't take it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, can you please share her channel again? Because Tim didn't get it. It came up. Yes. It is about what you focus on, Maura. So this is one of the first and this is the uh, the real illustration that I drew. But this is also I made it into a card and then. Um, here, let me go back to this others. So this was just something again, playing. I thought, Paul, you might, you might like this one just cause it's not anything, but it's something right. And this is like gold pen and then white pen over tape, blue tape. Right. So then there's, um, this is Bruce. He's my D bot and I was just trying. And so I did this whole thing over love and somebody was like, I am over love. You know, everybody hears it in their own heads. Talk about flipping it. That's not what I was trying to be. Just the same, like if something hasn't gone well, I was like, oh, I want to over love somebody, right? But everybody that I showed it to was like, I'm going to over, oh, I am over love, you know? Hey, Alan. So uh, anyway, you'll see another one. And I don't even drink coffee, but I like to draw coffee beans. I didn't like this one. I thought this one was ugly. Who cares? Again, I'm just showing. So then I I heard what people were saying and I was like, well, maybe this would be funny if I did. I am over love, over love, over love. Right. And did a whole bunch of broken hearts. And then I did prayed over. And I, of course, would fix that and kill that out when I. Um, and then I thought this one was terrible because clearly the heart bled. And I was like, maybe it's not that, that good. So I didn't even try again. But then this one I liked be somebody who over delivers because I want to be somebody who over delivers. And I like that the V and the V could be hearts. And I like this like spreading of hearts. And but then I changed it. I'm no Jason Carn letterer, but I was just trying, right? A practicing. If I never practice, uh, and who cares that I made a mess? You can clean it up. Thank goodness for our skills in Photoshop, you know? Okay, so then this was just one of those that I um, thank you, D. Um, um, <laughs> this, Hey, Brandy. Um, this is, uh, just, I, I didn't like the big piece. So I just started cutting it up and this one I left long. I thought, oh, this could be a bookmark. Now this one I really like, but I don't really like it, but I do like it. I don't know why you can give me a critique, Chris, but here it is. So I took a, a page from some magazine that was in Italian I put washi tape on it. Do you see the bird? Yeah. See his little beak. And so it was sort of like um, stained glass. And then I just love these floors. I just love these floors. Look at these funky fours, though. Do you also see it could be a seven? But this is actually a four. Do you see it could be that? That's a really cool seven. You know, cool. I just love it. Yeah, it is cool four. 
too cool for it. I mean, there's two different fours. But so I don't know why it doesn't really go. Um, it's seven with a knife. That's right. <laughs> um, I just think it's fun to play. And sometimes cool things happen when you do that. Okay, let's see if. Okay. So then, Chris, what is this? Um, You're like, I don't like this. This is, is it a, this is is it a ham radio. It is. It's a ham radio. Get it? <laughs> I do. So Computer I showed ham these. At Mora. <laughs> That's right. Or a robot ham, I guess. The thing is, is that illustrations don't have to be, they don't have to look like whatever. They don't have to always use the right colors. Um, It's good to push. And so I showed this in my conceptual drawing class this year. So these are all, I think all these are ones that I did. This is about the time when maybe Lydia was looking at some of my feed. And I'm I'm pretty sure that I, um, (laughs) that I, shared this out there. So can you see it processing going to the next thing? Yes. So this is an exercise I do because I'm not great with faces or I didn't feel like I was. Now I feel like I'm better with them. These are all kind of, I was looking at freehand sketching, drawing tips, and I try to give credit everything. So drawing freehand book 03. So all this was like they were using color in a new, different way. And I thought there was a blob guy and I was like, oh, it looks like he's got sunglasses on. So I was like, okay. You just shout out if you see anything. Um, I see Macho Man Randy Savage. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. (laughs) But like, this is just using a pen that's um, like a Molotow or a crink pin that's thicker and I wouldn't normally do it. And then when you draw circles double, it sort of looks like hair or maybe it's a monster or something, right? It's just, it's just supposed to be fun. Okay. So then I'm pretty sure I was copying this off of somebody else because I thought the little girl's hair was so weird, but sometimes I'm just writing on top of something else and it doesn't matter. I'm working out things. I, I find this messy allows me to actually explore a little bit more. So um, here's another one. I was like, oh, I like this dog. So I drew it here and then I redrew it, I think. And this was me watching Creative Jumpstart in 2018. And then I'm just playing. Um, I must have been listening to something drunk on our tears because I wouldn't have probably come up with that myself. And I think that must have been nubbin. But again, not all wins here. And then my pastor had asked me to make a coaster. And um, and he wanted one side to say, slow down, and the other side to say, where's Jesus, I think. And so I was just trying a whole bunch of them. And I thought the one I ended up with was pretty good. And John looked at it. I don't know where it is in here. I don't think I showed it. He's like, why does it say how down? I was like, oh, I don't know. I think it is a song, right? The Drunk on Tears. So here's more slow down. Maybe it was this. I don't know. That sort of looks like how. I don't know. Anyway, it was something. But like uh, this guy, like Amway ad by Lydia Nichols. I liked him. Again, it's just like half a circle. It doesn't have to look like a person, you know? Maybe it was, I don't remember which one. Anyway, I'm just putting things on top of each other. And I didn't think I was very good at noses and lips. So I was drawing them a lot. And then this is where spread the love. If you look at the podcast graphic, which I know is inconsistent, and I'm going to be working on that. um, It, this is the first idea for spread the love. I was like, if, if during love on designers, we could just love, you know, spread love across this whole month, just lift people up, encourage people. Um, and then, so I said, love is a multiplier. You know, I think love is something that grows instead of uh, it, it automatically multiplies um, instead of it, you get less as you break it in two. Um, anyway, so this is the first one. I think I show the next set, which this is, this is the next one. And then I actually have the third one, but I don't know if I showed it. And I ended up killing the jam jar. And, you know, I don't even like jam. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is the final one. And this is like the slash thing, you know, the 
the jam color. I mean, obviously, it could have been that. I don't think that would have been very good. Anyway, any comments? Van can't unsee the love jam now. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, um, okay, so uh, so I did do a love is a multiplier, and I used a, I said multi, and then I had pliers, and people were like, love is a multi tool? <laughs> sure. I was like, okay. So this is what it actually ended up. And I have these. And this is one of the Love on Designers cards. And I'm going to be sending some out. So if you ever see, want some love, just send me your address. Okay. Sometimes I don't finish people's heads. I put things in my sketchbook and I just draw under it. This is like gives me permission to mess up. Right? I don't know nose to your toes from your pins to your mouse. I don't remember. I don't know what I was thinking, right? They don't all make sense. We don't need to make sense. How come it's not going forward? Is it going forward for you? No, but it's awesome. Like, it's pixelating. It's lagging and okay. pixelated. It's beautiful. I know it is. Okay. So then I thought this was like an icy. I like these. I don't remember what these things are called. Do you know what those things are called? Uh, sheep. No, it's a you. But it is a sheep. But, you know, no, I'm talking about that sort of thing where you're like you draw a picture and you you don't have to use the words. So you have to guess what it says by looking at pictures. OK, you don't know. You don't know what I'm talking about. I OK, it's OK. So I thought this. Pardon. Pictogram. Pictogram. Yes. Yes, I think so. So, something like that. Um, so I liked this pair and I was like, oh, I'm going to, dr- I thought this was pretty okay for my, um, <laughs> for my pairs. I was pretty happy with this and it's not perfect, but it's okay. And then John would say this to me and he still says this sometimes. He's like, I, we need a t-shirt with my wife. So mean, she scares green beans. And then the green beans are like frightened and crying. Isn't that funny? Are you, You're not that mean though. Oh, sometimes I mean to him. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So sometimes again, I didn't like where something was going or I really liked this little fella, but then I was like, oh, I could hide somebody's, I could do a mouth and a nose under it. So I just think sometimes it's good to make messes. And I really like this one. This was just two pieces of washi tape next to each other. And I made it into her dress. And I did a whole bunch of people that were had the same kind of nose. I don't know why she's on there twice. I guess I just wanted her bigger. Hmm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, well, maybe it's not ironic to, to, to John, I think. Okay, so then this one, I had done a, oh, Lord, what's that lady's name? This lady had a class, and I have a book. I don't remember what her name is anyway. And she does, she's well known and she helps people get work or whatever. Any, I I'm butchering it, whatever. Um, a rebus. That's it. A rebus. Thank you, Brandy. That was that, um, thing. So this was the, the prompt was, uh, cookies. And then you had to, create some sort of thing. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to draw cookies as best as I can. And then anything that kind of goes with them, I think maybe her name will be in here in a minute, but see, there's multiplier. Love is a multiplier. Mm, Nobody got it. Um, And so then I was just drawing, oh, it's doing it again. So then I had this idea. I mean, I drew a man eating cookies. I drew a bag of cookies. And then I was like, what if I drew a squirrel? And it said, and he's holding a cookie and it says, and he's throwing the nuts up and it says, forget cookies this winter. I mean, forget nuts this winter. I forage for cookies. And so then I redrew it again, little sketch, because I didn't want to be out. So in my sketchbook, this is like an eight by eight, I think. So I'm drawing it small. So I'm getting the idea, getting the little uh, sketch thing uh, out. Oh, so these are some more of my ideas. So uh, load up, winter is long, eat well, save cookies, right? Oh, forget the nuts. I forage for cookies. 
So I'm just working things out, writing things in different ways. And there he is. And so I decided to make my cookie out of paper because I like drawn things. So nuts are, I haven't ever finished, but his hands, like, I don't know, his hands, he's ready to hold this cookie. This cookie will be here, but he's cute. I think. Yeah. How are you not an illustrator? Seriously. So, so anyway, um, but thank you. So, but I still, even in all this, I wasn't feeling like this, but by me, I think this is at church. So I'm just using some of these I'm pretty sure Jesus's friends didn't like Jesus is inside and those other men come and drop him down on some sort of building like this. But that was what the pastor was talking about. Um, and sometimes I just draw things that I know I can draw. And my mom will know this. This is how I started drawing. She got us this book that was the out. It was just it was if it was teaching you how to draw letters. But then you drew things you you copied him it was 79 cents that book is over a thousand dollars now on because there's it's out of print or whatever um but see these these are just those bracket curly brackets you see them i just made a man and a woman and i made another one i didn't like him oh there's the curly brackets bigger and then sometimes i just make messes i think these look sort of uh dr susie yeah, like mushrooms. Yeah, kind of. Man, it's doing that thing again, as you say, mushrooms. Okay, and then I go from those worldly things to these people with multiple ears, or I just like this guy who doesn't really have a mouth. I don't know. I always, there was this one boy in, in this um, TV show that I really liked. He was bald, and my husband's bald. And, um, and I think my mom will remember this. It was called Young Riders. And I think that my mom probably said this. He's, she's like, you, I was like, oh, I really like that boy. She's like, you only like him because he's mute. He would never talk. You would have all the conversation. <laughs> anyway, I just thought it was funny. And then sometimes, again, putting things on top of each other and make, what else can I make with that shape? This was a fail. I was on a plane, obviously, 2018. You know, the little thing on a plane where you move it over to let your little tray table come down. I was trying to draw that. It failed. So I made a, ma a woman. I like the woman. I hate it as a tray thing as I was trying to do that anyway. Um, sometimes I paste things in tiny little things. You can see how I mean, I'm not a giant. That's my finger. I was just doing this tiny little sketch. Here's some more. This is a class I took. I, I tend to look like I draw Donald Trump a lot. I'm not drawing him, um, but I do like this. Look at this. It's like a sugar cube into this teacup flower. And this is just a water brush on um, a, with a pen that's not supposed to be used with a water brush. So I just think we should make messes because from all that, Lydia called me and said, hey, do you want to illustrate this book? And I was like, I don't, I'm not an illustrator. And, but she believed in me. And oh, I thought I had, anyway, I'll show you this. I make mistakes all the time. So this was a, a robot. And then I realized that it could also be a robot this way. And then I just drew in legs. Kind of frog robot. But if you never are willing to cut things up or play, look how fun this is. I didn't do anything except stamp something. Anyway, maybe people will play more today. The end. Because having things. fun was one of your words for this year, right? I know. That's right. So... I mean, I see things in AT&T uh, envelopes and I like this. This will show up in something. I just thought it was nice. I think it's from not French paper, but house industries. Sometimes I think this was the inside of an envelope. And then a letter set letter. Maybe they go together. I don't know. I think we just need to 
cut things out and play. You know? Well, that's it. And look, it's an hour. I can fill up a whole lot of space. Um, so this week, Chris, yes. Love on Designers is about encouraging people. So maybe everybody could go and comment on Christina's uh, video, her videos on YouTube. And that would be encouraging for Christina. But it's also find somebody else that you, you see is making a difference. And I, I love when we can love on each other like that. So, and if you do, um, you can tag love on designers or love on creatives, both of them. I'm using both of them. And um, if you meet with somebody, just take a screenshot. And so Chris, let's take a screenshot. I got to fix it. So it's up and down. <laughs> well, hang on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And then you'll see it. Uh, thank you, Chris. You can get a, uh, Sometimes Chris doesn't move when we're talking. And I'm like, are you frozen? And then he'll blink. And then, then I know he's not frozen. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna, can you read what Brandy wrote? Brandy says, one of the most interesting things I find is when we say, I'm not a fill in the blank. Usually the following is at play. One, this is a skill you have that someone is commenting on. Two, you don't feel good enough or expert level at said skill. Three, you're almost always wrong. <laughs> I am also guilty of this. I love that. And Chris said, I mean, and Dee said that, Chris, you are the best. So I hope maybe we can play and just not worry. You don't have to show anybody. But if you do, maybe somebody will see it. And uh, what I wrote was, my friend believed in me and gave me a chance, even when I didn't believe in myself. Um, and when I'm willing to make messes, that's when I find new paths. So maybe we just need to put things out there. But this week, as we put things out there, let's make sure we encourage other people at the same time. The end. And you want to wrap it with anything? I mean, like, say well, you anything. just said the end. So there you go. I know, but. It's just my the end. It's oh, like okay. we're praying. You get to Proposed. say your own the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, the end. <laughs> Sometimes I um, often when I'm telling a story, people don't know that it's the end. And I'll have to um, I'll say the end. And <laughs> um, oh, good, Adrian, I'm good. Please, please show me your scared green beans. And Van will say now when we're talking, she'll be like the end. And I just think it's a good way because people don't always know when I'm done. So. What I would add to that is sometimes just asking people questions when you aren't sure is a good way to have fun, too. So, like, I had this this man come fix my garage door. Um, and I just asked him a bunch of questions and he ended up doing some things for me that he knew that would be challenging in the process later on. And he's like, I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this for you since I'm here. So, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. just being honest with your skill level and just saying, I don't know what I'm good at, but uh, this is what I want to do. And uh, people that are in the know will help you out. That's really important is being willing to say, I don't know, but you're willing to learn. You would have said, if he said, Hey, Chris, go watch this mm -hmm. or read this. You would have done it. Yeah. 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 I don't know yet. Exactly. All right. Well, next week we're continuing on love on designers and I'll have another, um, maybe shorter prompt for you, but at least we had a little game. We got to see whales and fish and do you pick a dancing. winner by the way oh no oh oh no okay so you tell me when to stop okay okay you start you tell me when sometime oh, i'm stop. just scrolling okay stop. brandy wins brandy you win you won on your slushy comment very very scientific process i just scroll and then whenever so it's like um i don't know what how it's probably not very scientific i know it's not very scientific but hey it works that was the winner <laughs>
So you have to come live. So Brandy, unless you've moved, I need your address. I mean, I don't need your address unless you've moved. The end for real. Okay, see you next week. And don't forget to encourage and take screenshots or when you do something with a friend, just document it. It'll get fiddled out in your feed anyway. So no worries. It just shows your face. Okay, the end.